Hey everyone, this is JLGPK's marketing intern back with another vlog. I do this to show you guys what I do around here and everything that goes on around GPK, so let's get into it. So this week we're gonna be talking about some of the racing tech that GPK uses in their carts uh, to track the times, all of that. The first thing everyone does when they come into GPK is make a racing profile. And this is what you'll use to track your times uh, and your pro skill ranking. We actually have an app that you can download on the App Store. So if you pause the video now, scan this QR code, it'll take you straight there. You can download it for free. Through the app, you'll be able to track your entire racing history, all your time, Times, uh, and also your pro skill ranking right now the track record is 32.626 seconds and the average is about 41 I'm gonna go ahead and hop inside of a cart and see how I do today all right so after your race is done you're gonna head up here to the front desk and they'll have a detailed breakdown of all your results what's up <laughs> those are my results here my best lap is only 44.03 seconds so uh, not the best, but um, <laughs> it's okay. Right now we're gonna head over to the shop to talk more about the carts themselves. Hi, I'm Phil. I have a 270cc nine horsepower motor. The juniors have a seven horsepower motor. They all feature wet clutches with a two to one gear reduction and a live rear axle, which a live rear axle means both tires spin at the same time. They feature rear disc brakes. They all run on regular, everyday pump gas it's the same way with every corner as long as you clip one corner and then swing to the outside and carry your momentum through the corner as opposed to sliding through the corner you're going to set so much faster over the line you want to cut it in close to where you're almost clipping this inside wall you want to stay off the brakes and kind of swing out and let your momentum carry you all the way towards it. and the best way to get through this corner is to pull it into the outside wall and then as you exit, swing as far as you can without hitting the wall, obviously, and stay wide because you carry so much more speed throughout. I'm gonna go ahead and hop in a car to test out some of these driving tips and let's see if I get any faster. Did my second race way better than the first one. 39.306 for best lap. Huge improvement. Thanks to Phil, my lap time improved significantly. I think one of the biggest takeaways is definitely race with other people. Because uh, the first one where I got 44 seconds for my best lap, I was racing by myself. And uh, having that competition with you out there on the track really pushes you to do better. I think that's going to be the end of this vlog. Visit us at gpkcolumbus.com for more information about karting. Also follow us on social media at gpkcolumbus. I'll see you guys next week.